Okay, classic pro wrestling fans, National Wrestling Alliance fans, never let them take your NWA heritage. This is a photograph that uh, my uncle took at the Baltimore Arena. You can see his handwriting. Ronnie Garvin leaves the ring uh, last time as NWA champion. You can even see, I believe, uh, those numbers indicate when the photograph, there it is, October 87. It's a real fucking deal, folks. So from what I understand, that was October 13th, 1987. Baltimore Arena, the show, main event. Well, I'll, I'll go through the matches as best as I can remember what my uncle told me. Uh, you had the UWF tag team title, believe it or not, the Lightning Express, Brad Armstrong and Tim Horner defending, uh, I believe, the, the UWF tag team title. Or, or actually, they were challenging the U.S. tag team champions, Sweet Stan and Beautiful Bobby, the Midnight Express, in a lumberjack match with rackets. And the rackets were little tennis rackets. They were not full-size tennis rackets, but little mini rackets. Uh, also on the card, interestingly enough, Tully and Arn were not on this card. Uh, I believe you had... Um, Hmm, let me see if I have any more of my uncle's photos <clears throat> from this show. Uh, but I believe you had uh, Black Bart was on this show. Uh, I believe there's a photograph here that I'm trying to expedite. A couple of photographs for your enjoyment. So just hold on. Don't leave the video. We see a young Tim Horner going to the ring in Baltimore for his big match. Yep, that's the same date, October 87, Tim Horner, okay. Uh, we also see October of 87 for that big tag match, beautiful Bobby Eaton. You see the security always did a nice job. Uh, we had a guy that I think my uncle always spoke highly of, the Terminator, who was kind of a Florida guy, and Black Bart. Yes, Black Bart. There he is, Black Bart. Uh, very exciting. Let's see what else. So I think also on this card, I'm really trying to get this straight. But I think you had... I'm, I'm going to rescind what I said. Tully and Arn were on the show, and they fought the Rock and Roll Express in a tag team title rematch as a matter of fact uh, you can see this labeled Rick Morton Ricky Morton and there he is Ricky Morton going to the ring you see the banded shoulder and arm coming off that NWA tag team title loss you see the fans so enthusiastic look at the fans look at the fans just so enth enthused looking for the handshake so excited now you see, after the match, after the Tully and Arn treatment, this is titled Morton in Agony. Morton in Agony. So you see Ricky Morton leaving in agony. Let's see what else we got. I'm showing you some very exclusive photographs. I'm not even sure if you folks appreciate the full value of these photographs. Mike Messier, YouTube channel, plenty of pro wrestling rants and so forth and so on. Uh, my uncle, Mike, uh, telling me, oh, look at that, Tully fucking Blanchard, folks. Real fucking deal. Uh, and he, <laughs> my uncle even labeled the photo, Tully snot nose Blanchard. Uh, look at the fans. Look at Tully wiping the snot from his nose. After a successful title defense. You see the one and fucking only Ric Flair. Yes, he's kind of buried in security, but there he is. Ric Flair. Okay, not fucking around here, folks. You see all the protective security. You can even go to my Mike Messier uh, YouTube channel and watch my memories of Ron Simmons winning the WCW world title in 1992 at the same arena, Baltimore, that my uncle would go to. I have a very interesting photograph coming up. I'm trying to reprieve it for you. 
once again from the same show, October 13th, 1987, uh, Bobby Eaton. You see, the security did such a good job, they blocked out a lot of these photos, but you can get the idea. I mean, just security wasn't exactly cognitive of the cameras. You see these fans, so enthusiastic. You see the fashion at the time of this young yelling fan. I don't know if that's a young Dave Meltzer or Bruce Mitchell. Trying to get away from that. Look at that female fan, so excited. She's got her little hearts on her pants. I don't I don't know if Jim Cornette would uh, call her a rat or just a fan, but just trying to be a nice fan. And so very exciting folks. Um, these pro wrestling photographs, uh, I do have more I could share and I will right now. So stay tuned. I just want to make sure I get all the right photographs. I don't want to... This is October 13th, 1987. So the Rock and Roll did wrestle Tully and Arn, and Tully Arn, Arn retained. And then Arn Anderson came out in the two out of three falls match. You might be wondering, who's this young guy? He looks, you know, like a wrestler that could be around today. He was Samurai Warrior number two. So I believe this is when they imported a bunch of wrestlers from Florida... Uh, when Crockett was was putting all these other companies out of their misery and just buying them. Look at that young fan. Samurai Warrior number two. And uh, this is also from October of 87. We see Black Bart going to the ring. I believe he was a lumberjack for that fan, uh, for that Lightning Express, who were the UWF Tag Team Champions, challenging for the U.S. Tag Team title. So that's Black Bart going to the ring. Uh, see kind of a an interesting photograph here that you may enjoy just that guy's wearing a superpowers t-shirt these are just you've got a reporter I don't know if that's a young Bruce Mitchell uh, with a superpowers it looks like t-shirt security gentleman and just some blonde guy who's just a fan just enjoying himself and they're all very excited about what's happening in Baltimore. You see Black Bart once again. I guess my uncle was a big Black Bart fan. A lot of Black Bart photographs. But Black Bart trudging his way to the ring. You can almost feel that excitement, can't you? Black Bart trudging along. Try to get away from this fucking light bulb. God. I want to attempt to turn this off, but it is my light source. Oh, for crying out loud. I'll go through these photos again if you want a better image. Still getting reflection. I'm trying, folks. Black Bart. It's wonderful human beings. Uh, I do have some more photos. I really enjoy sharing them with you. I hope you, all the old school wrestling fans are enjoying this. And perhaps the young wrestling fans who might have found this video and might be wondering, oh, well, where's uh, the pyro? Where's the soundstage? Where, where's the, L, the, the, the screens? Or We didn't have that shit. We didn't need it, okay? This is real goddamned wrestling. Um, this looks like Samurai Warrior number one. Young fans are very excited for Samurai, <laughs> Samurai Warrior 